Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will discuss about a concept or a feature called logical fabric in Brocade Sand Switch. So few days back, I created a post in my community tab asking for a question that are you using virtual fabric in Brocade Sand Switch? So 28% voted yes, 32% no and 40% heard of it but never used it. So any people who comes under no and heard of it but never used it, this video is going to be helpful from them. Because in this video we will discuss what is virtual fabric, what are the concepts for it and then we can think of a scenario where you can use this virtual fabric. First of all, we have to understand that what is virtual fabric. So by definition, virtual fabric is a feature that helps to virtualize a physical sand fabric into multiple and isolated sand fabrics. So this definition may be confusing. So don't worry, in coming slides, it will be more clear. When you enable the virtual fabric features, you are allowed to create logical switch and logical fabric. So logical switch and logical fabric may sound confusing at this point of time, but we are going to discuss them one by one in coming slides. So first of all, what is logical switch? So logical switch is a virtual entity over a physical switch or a physical chassis with a unique FID and one or more physical FC ports assigned to it. Now once you enable the virtual fabric, a default logical switch is created automatically and all FC ports in that particular switch or in the entire chassis becomes the part of that particular default logical switch. Default logical switch has an FID 128. So these points may sound confusing to you. That's why let's try to understand the default logical switch in this diagram. So before enabling virtual fabrics, we have a physical chassis and uh, we have eight ports in it. Now, as soon as you enable virtual fabrics, we can see a default logical switch will be created with an FID 128 and all the ports which were part of the physical chassis will be the part of the default logical switch. So default logical switch, as its name suggests, it's default and you have to create a user created logical switch. So now let's understand what is user created logical switch. So whenever you do not see the word default, consider that particular switch as a user created switch. So you can create a logical switch with the help of a command line. So when you create the logical switch, you need to assign an FID. So this FID is unique. Unique in the sense is that uh, one particular logical switch can only have one FID. The same FID you can assign to other logical switch, but you cannot assign multiple log multiple FIDs to a single logical switch. So once you create the logical switch and assign the FID, you will have to assign the FC ports to the newly created logical switch. So remember in the previous uh, slides we discussed that all FC ports will be part of the default logical switch. So you don't have to manually remove the port from logical switch and then assign it to logical switch. You just have to assign the physical ports to logical switch automatically the ports will be removed from the default logical switch. Now a port cannot be part of multiple logical switch. So for example, if you have uh, assigned a port 15 to a logical switch having an FID 15, then you cannot assign the same port to a different logical switch having different FID. So these were the process to create the logical switch but you can create multiple logical switch with unique FID and unique FC ports. Now the grouping of multiple logical switch having unique FIDs are called logical fabric. So in the slides we will discuss about logical fabric. As I told a group of logical switches having same FID is called logical fabric. So these group of uh, logical switch creates a logical fabric which is 
isolated virtual entity and all connected device can communicate within themselves so for example you have created uh, five logical switches and all those five logical switches have an fid called 15 then those five logical switches can be considered as a logical fabric and that logical fabric has the fid 15 so a logical switch can connect with another logical switch at ISL connection but that we will discuss in the end part of this uh, video for now let's try to understand the logical fabric with the help of this diagram so we can see in the left hand side we have a default uh, logical switch having FID 128 logical switch 2 logical switch 3 and logical switch 4 and we can see the FIDs are also different so FID 1, FID 15 and FID 8. Now similarly in the physical chassis as well we have other logical switches but note that the FIDs are same. Now consider the FID 1 which has logical switch 2 and the logical switch 6 and it has also the fabric ID 1. So logical switch 2 and logical switch 6 is a logical fabric one logical fabric and the ports only can communicate within themselves similarly we can see fid 15 so fid 15 has logical switch 3 and logical switch 7 now a port cannot communicate from logical switch 2 to from logical switch 7 because they have different FID or the fabric ID and as they are considered to be a different fabric now you can also connect a logical switch to a non virtual or the non logical switch now let's discuss about the ISL connections in logical fabric so communication between logical switches happens via a base switch each chassis or each physical switch can have only one base switch so the base switches are connected over a special isl link called extended isl and these connection between the two batch base switches are physical it's not the logical so the logical isls exist between the logical switches but these base switches have physical connectivity over link and this special link is called extended isl now these base switches can only be used for ISL connections they cannot have an F port and uh, you have to configure each logical switch to use XISL so we have similar diagrams as per the previous slides but we can see some extra switch that is here a called as base switch and this base switch has fabric id 8 and another base switch is there in the physical chassis 2 which has also a fabric id 8 the communication from the logical switch 2 will happen through base switch and from base switch over this XIL connections it will go to the base switch of another chassis and from there it will go to the logical switch 6 which has the same FID of 1 so this way the communication happens between the logical switches through base switch in a logical fabric now you can see the dotted line so dotted lines are not the actual physical connections it's just the representation and as I mentioned the communication or the data frame or the packet flows through the base switch to the another base switch of another chassis and uh, from that it will go to the respective logical switch now it can happen that you can establish a physical connection between two logical so this ISL connection is there and this XIL connections is also there in this scenario the packet will always flow through the physical connection that is this ISL and this will not happen for any other logical switches this is only applicable for the logical switch uh, 2 or we can say the fabric id 1 so the fabric id 15 
whatever logical switches are there in this fabric id 15 will still communicate with xils so if you have a physical connections then the packet will flow from that particular isl connections otherwise it will flow from xil connections so hope this diagram makes some sense to understand the logical uh, fabrics and uh, let me ask you a question so whatever discussion we have done here do you think similar technology is also present in cisco sian switches if yes then what is give your answers in the comment section let's see how many are aware of uh, this technology and uh, once again thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to channel for more upcoming videos and if you want notification from my channel then don't forget to hit the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video in my channel you will get a notification immediately